Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to run Minecraft 1.16.1 fast with no lag. Now in order to do this we are going to be using Optifine. Optifine is pretty much a must have if you want the best performance possible out of Minecraft. So go here, this is linked in the description down below, it's the second link down below, and this is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Optifine. We have a video tutorial up here, we have a great text tutorial down here. We have helped over 2.3 million people install Optifine, so this is guaranteed to help you and get it set up, get it up and running, all of that stuff. So go check out this video, check out this tutorial, and then come back here and you'll really be able to take full advantage of this tutorial. Now, that being said, you can do this without Optifine. But it's going to be a lot more difficult and it's not going to have the same result. But first, before we jump around into it, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We love Apex so much that we put our money where our mouth is and actually host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com, on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you are looking to start a Minecraft server, don't look any further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, once you've got Optifine installed here, we can go ahead, come into the Minecraft launcher, and here we can start our optimization process. Now, in order to do that, in order to do that, we need to make sure the Optifine profile is first selected. So down here in the bottom left, you see this little drop-down menu. Click on that and then select Optifine from in here. If you don't have that, we show you how to fix that in our tutorial, so go watch that and it'll help you set up Optifine and you'll be able to select Optifine here or select the profile you created with Optifine. Now click on Installations, find your Optifine profile, whether it's the one you created, like the one here, or if the Optifine profile itself, highlight over that and click on the three dots here over on the right, and then click on Edit. Now in here, you want to go ahead and add more RAM. Now you might be like, how do you do that, right? How do you add more RAM here? Well, you go ahead and click on More Options. And then when you click on More Options, down here I'll see XMX2G. Now this is how much RAM is dedicated to Minecraft. So by default, it's going to be two gigabytes. I recommend running it with at least three gigabytes. However, you might want to run four, and if you're running with mods, you might run six, seven, eight gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. Now, that is assuming your computer has that much RAM. I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial. This will be the last time I link out to another tutorial, but in the description down below, we do have this. This is our in-depth guide on adding more RAM to Minecraft 1.16 and 1.16.1. So go check this out. Get more RAM added. It shows you everything, including how to see how much RAM your computer has. Right here is where I'm doing that. And basically, it shows you how to see exactly how much RAM your computer has, and that way you can add more RAM to Minecraft the most effective way possible. Now we can go ahead though, come back here, we've added 4 gigs to Minecraft, and we can click save. Now I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I'm actually gonna set a baseline FPS. So if we go ahead and click play, I'm gonna launch into Optifine here, and I have the settings turned up a bit, and I do have shaders on, but one thing I want to show you is even with very, 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 very high settings, which is what I have by default, if we turn off it's going to make so I'm going to show you what that impact is. But basically, we're setting a quick baseline, and then we're going to optimize Optifine. Now, don't worry. We don't have to restart the game or anything to do this. It's just going to work right up. And we don't have to worry about, like, yeah, basically, I'm not wasting that much time here. But I think it's important to set a baseline. I actually think it's important for everyone to do this. So in order to set a baseline, whenever you open up Optifine here, click on Options, click on Video Settings, click on Other down here in the bottom right, and then Show FPS here, turn that on. So make sure Show FPS is on. That's going to make the FPS display all the time. Then we're going to be playing on play.breakdowncraft.com here. This is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse by far. It's actually our server. It's incredible. Anyway, not now. Let's get into this. We're going to go ahead and open up play.breakdowncraft.com, and we're going to get a baseline. So you can join in to play.breakdowncraft.com if you want to use the same baseline as me. You can use, you know, single player world, whatever you want to do. But once we join in here, we can see up here in the top left, we have 28 or 30 FPS, 28 FPS, 30 FPS, and then that second number is the lowest FPS we're getting, I believe. Those numbers are sometimes a little hard to kind of decipher which is which, but overall, we are going to be going off of this first number in this video. So 30 is kind of our highest. I'd say if I move around, it's going to drop some. Let's see, we're still holding pretty steady at 30, actually, which is kind of impressive. Kind of shows you how good Optifine actually can be, even at high performance here. Now let's go ahead and turn off shaders, right? That's the only thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to jump into video settings and shaders and turn those off, and I'll cover this again later. But for those of you who are running shaders out there, if you're having performance issues, it's most likely to do with shaders. So go ahead and turn shaders off, and if we come back into game, we're actually going to be able to see, assuming our FPS isn't locked, which it might be, 
yeah, there we go. If we do unlimited FPS, we'll be able to see that our FPS immediately skyrockets up to 347. Now, for those of you out there that know what V-Sync does, it's this right here. Make sure your max frame rate is turned to unlimited. And if we turn Satyrs back on, we go from like 347 back down, not to 30 this time because our frame rate was locked, but instead we go back down to doo -doo 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 -doo, 130, something like that, right? So 300 to 100 with shaders on. That's the biggest set there. So our with shaders, I'm going to go ahead and make a note of this on a post-it note. I actually don't have a pen on my desk, so I'm just going to open up Notepad on the computer real quick. And we can see, I'll just drag this into over the Minecraft window window here but we can say with shaders it was that top number was like 130 and then without shaders it was like 347 so let's go ahead and see after optimization what this is going to be now one thing i will say is that this is not going to be pretty right minecraft's not going to look as beautiful as it does with sous shaders and everything turned all the way up and all that stuff it's not going to happen this is going to happen okay this is just simply a you know kind of a test here for this video and and, um, yeah, it's not going to look this pretty whenever you do this optimization. I'm going to assume that you just want to play. You don't care about Minecraft looking good. And my recommendation is to actually go through and set all these settings and then turn them around. If you want to turn the render distance up after you've proven that you can play Minecraft at a decent FPS, turn the render distance up until you're playing at about 60 or 30 FPS, whichever you prefer. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and click on options here from the Minecraft main menu and then video settings. Pretty much all the optimization we're going to be doing is going to be done in here, except for a resource pack, which we'll talk about at the end. So anyway, for graphics, this is going to be fast. Render distance, turn that all the way down. Yes, two chunks of render distance I know is super low and most people will be like, that is unplayable. And okay, maybe it is, but if you can't play at all without it, then suddenly it's a lot more playable. But this is the first thing most people will do. After you do all of these settings, the biggest thing you're going to want to probably turn up is the render distance to make it a little more playable. But nevertheless, smooth lighting, we're going to turn that off. Frame rate, make that unlimited. That's why it was 30 originally for us there is because I didn't have that. I had it all the way down here at VSync, which is basically going to be the same frame rate as your monitor. We want to make that unlimited. For our smooth lighting level, turn that off. View bobbing doesn't affect performance. You can leave it on or off, whichever you prefer. GUI scale, technically, this GUI scale right here is going to be the most, uh, you know, efficient. That's GUI scale 1. However, uh, we're making a video here, and you all need to be able to see what I'm doing, so we need to leave ours at 3. Use VBOs needs to be turned on. Brightness, it doesn't matter. Brightness doesn't affect performance, so bright or not bright, doesn't matter. Attack indicator, same thing, doesn't affect performance. Dynamic lights, however, does need to be off. Dynamic FOV actually can cause some <laughs> performance, you know, changes, especially as you see when flying and sprinting and things like that, but you can leave that on or off. It doesn't really matter. Shaders need to be off, so if you click on shaders there and it doesn't let you open it, that's okay. If you can click on shaders, make sure that off is selected here and then click done. Now for quality, and here we want to go MIP map levels turn that down it's going to reload every time it does mit map levels which is kind of annoying but we want to turn that all the way down to i believe is one on that or off actually you can turn mit map levels off anthropic filtering off anti-aliasing off mit map type nearest immersive textures need to be turned off <laughs> if we can get the reload here there we go random entities need to be turned off better grass needs to be off and then we need to do better snow off, custom fonts off, custom colors off. I think you're getting the idea. It needs to be off or it needs to be fast if it doesn't have off, right? So, for example, this one has off, so we need to turn it off. Custom sky off, custom items off. That's where it reloads on custom items. Anyway, custom items off, custom UIs off, and custom entity models. Finally, turn those off as well. Now we can go ahead and click done here. So that was all of the, I believe, quality page. We need to now go into the details page, and you're getting the point at this point. Clouds need to be off. Trees, you can't turn trees off, so you turn them on fast. Rain and snow, turn those off. Sky off, stars off. And then just turn everything off. We're turning sun and moon off. By the way, sun and moon doesn't affect performance that much, so you could turn that on if you want. I get wanting to have a day-night cycle on Minecraft, so we'll actually leave that on. For fog, we want to turn that off. Fog start doesn't matter because we turned it off. Translucent blocks need to be fast. Held item tooltips, you can actually turn those on or off. It does not perfect perform or affect performance. Entity shadows need to be turned off. Dropped items need to be fast. Vignette needs to be fast. Alternative blocks need to be off. Swamp colors need to be off. And BioBlend, turn those down all the way to off or fastest, as it says there. Now we can click done there, and we are moving on. Last but not least, excuse me, to the performance tab. Now here, everything doesn't need to be off. It needs to turn smooth FPS on, smooth world on. Fast render needs to be turned off on. If you do not have a dedicated GPU, if you do have a dedicated GPU though, you're actually better turning this 
off most of the time. I'm going to leave it on here. I have a dedicated GPU, but uh, just because you most likely need to turn that on, we're going to turn that on. Fast math here, we want to turn that on. Chunk updates needs to be on one because it's going to give us the highest FPS. And then we're going to have dynamic updates turned on. Render regions, can't change those right now because, well, it's currently not available in Minecraft. However, you want to go ahead and turn those on if you can. If you can't, no worries. Lazy chunk loading, go ahead and turn that on. Smart animations need to be turned on, and entity distance need to be turned down to 50% on entity distance there. And then go ahead and click done. And then last but not least, we need to come over here to animations. And this one's a very, very easy, everybody. You don't have to click on all these, just click on all off down here towards the bottom left. Then we do have the other tab. There's not much in here that really you can change. Don't make, make sure full screen is turned off. And then also make sure FPS is turned on so you can see that. Weather is, you know, going to cause some lag, specifically things like rain, so you can turn that off if you want. However, if you do want weather on, you can turn that on as well. It doesn't really matter unless you're getting lag specifically when it rains. And then one thing I do want to talk about is auto-saving. Auto-saving is something that can lag Minecraft. So if you're noticing, like, lag every, you know, just few seconds, that might actually be auto-saving because by default, auto-saving is every 45 seconds. But you can turn that up as far as 24 minutes with Optifine. But be careful because that means you could lose up to 24 minutes of work if your computer dies or turns off or whatever, right? You could lose up to 24 minutes. For me, I'm okay with losing six minutes in Minecraft. So I leave auto-save on six minutes. Otherwise, turn that up to whatever you would like. Now, one thing I will say is that auto-save is not gonna affect a server. So if servers are saving for you, you don't have to worry about auto-save on a server. So GLARs, most likely, you're going to want to leave that on. However, if you are getting a thing in chat that's spamming G GLRs, G GLR, 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 spamming errors in your chat, go ahead and turn that off. And then we can go ahead and click Done. And if you ever do want to reset your video settings, you can do that here. But we don't want to do that because we just don't click the reset button because we just did everything and it would undo all the work you just did. Now let's, let's go ahead and click Done. Now we can click Done again. And let's talk about resource packs. Now I do have an extra resource pack in here because I was testing something earlier. But nevertheless, you want to make sure that this is what your resource pack at is default here. Nothing else installed. There are some resource packs that technically could improve performance that are out there, but most of them really don't, because if you think about it, they're having to still load textures over the default Minecraft textures. So just run the default Minecraft textures and you'll be good to go. Now we can go ahead and click done here as well. Once we've confirmed we don't have a resource pack, if you do have a resource pack, by the way, what it would be is it would be over here like this and you would just move it over and then boom, you'd be done. Click done. There we go. Now we can test this again. So we jump on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We can see that our FPS up here in the top left has improved quite a bit over what our default was. Now it's actually not that big of a jump overall. As you can see, we're still in the, you know, 400, 397 range. And that's just because I have a pretty decent PC and there's only so much performance you can crank out of Minecraft these days. However, I would go ahead and count this as like 500 something because we are moving and getting a higher FPS. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's count this at like 560. Okay, there's 600. You know what? We hit 600. I'm going to count this as 600 because after we uh, after we started moving there, that was what we got. By the way, the reason it does, does this is Minecraft is actually loading more chunks while you're standing still than when you're moving. So when you're moving, it's going to load less chunks. And when you stand still, it's going to load more chunks around you. That's the thing that Optifine does, and it's going to allow basically better performance for your client. Now, as you can see, the render distance to me isn't actually that unplayable, but if you wanted to come in here and up your render distance to like something like 12, you could easily do that, right? So we can come in here, up our render distance to like 12, and see how that does. And yeah, that drop performance, maybe 75 FPS. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, overall, not that bad, and that's how you can optimize Minecraft with Optifine. I tried to like Optify, optimize, Optifine. That that could work. But anyway, nevertheless, there you go. We went from a 130 FPS with shaders to over 600 after optimization, and even without shaders, we almost saw a 300 FPS increase while we were moving. So pretty cool stuff there. If you all have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your lag-free Minecraft, and guess what? If you do want to post in the description down below what your beginning number was, how much FPS you were getting when you started, and how much FPS you were getting when you are finished, that would be awesome. I always like to see those, so post that in the description down below. And come play this on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Currently, I'm on Medieval Survival, which has 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. We do have Aquatic Survival as well with a slash shop-based economy. We also got Skyblock, custom Skyblock, that's incredible, and Factions Season 2 coming very, very soon within the next week. So come be a part of that if this video is just coming out. And if it's not, still come play Factions because it's pretty cool and we're constantly updating it, constantly adding new things. We're at the end of the season though, so the player count is not too strong over there, but it's 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 in queue basically to come out within the next week. But nevertheless, still 143 people online right now on a random Friday night at nine o'clock. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Come play this here on play.breakdowncraft.com. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.